Now, if there's one bit of advice that I can suggest, if you are buying or selling saltwater fish, I would recommend that anyone considering buying fish bring a sample of your aquarium water to your local store for testing and a current video of your aquarium running. Now, in the video, we want to see exactly what all the fish are doing. We want to see exactly what all the fish are. And we also want to see in the cupboard to make sure you've got the right products or what products you have in the cupboard. We want to see the surface area to make sure that you have good surface agitation. We want to see the fish foods that you use. So just try to include as much as possible in the video. So we can see what the corals are doing. We can see what the fish are doing. We can make sure that everyone's healthy. We can make sure that the aquarium has good gas exchange. And then we can test the water and we can make sure that before you take your fish, that at least your water quality is in a good position. And we can check all of your livestock to ensure that your livestock are nice and healthy. Because basically the worst thing that we wanna do is send fish home to substandard water quality. That will mean the chance of the fish settling in becomes very, very slim. We also don't wanna send fish home to any issues that are in the tank as far as diseases or so forth. And we wanna make sure that your fish are nice and healthy before new fish are actually added. The next thing we wanna do is make sure that you haven't added fish within the last month. So we highly recommend that you quarantine new fish before putting them into a reef aquarium or main display aquarium. And we also recommend um, understanding the one month rule. And the one month rule basically says you put some fish in the tank and then you wait a month, to make sure that your aquarium has been running beautifully before you consider putting any new fish into the aquarium. Otherwise, the pathogens from that last lot of fish increase the chance of the new fish getting sick. So many, many problems can be avoided by making sure the right fish are going to the right tank at the right time. So the video is gonna show us what's in the tank. For example, if there's a clownfish in the tank, we can then recommend another clownfish doesn't go in because there's a good chance they're gonna fight. If there's a fish that's gonna eat or attack another fish, we can take that into consideration. If a fish is going to attack your crustaceans or attack your corals, we can put that into consideration. So, so many problems can be avoided if impulse purchases do not occur. So that means, particularly with livestock, you never ever wanna just rock down to the aquarium shop buy some fish and trot off home because it's very, very important that this is pre-planned. We wanna know what the water quality of your tank is. We wanna make sure that the salinity is on the lower side because introducing fish into higher salinity increases osmotic pressure and therefore increases the chance of white spot. And we wanna know that it's been at least one month since the last lot of fish were added. So we're really wanting the tank to have run really beautifully for at least a month. Therefore, the immune system of the fish is able um, to have had time to bounce back. And then once the fish are no longer stressed after a move and their immune system is back, their body slimes back, their antibodies are back, the fish will be in a very good position as far as um, new tank mates are concerned. So the most important advice that I would suggest to anyone thinking about buying fish is never buy them on impulse, only ever buy them if you've researched the fish first, but most of all that you've bring a sample of water to the store, you've let the store test the water, and you've bring a video which very clearly shows what's in the tank and the state of everything that's in the tank and 
what's in your cupboard. Water quality and nutrition is basically the key to fish care and a little bit of pre-planning. Most issues can be avoided by ensuring that the wrong fish don't go to the wrong tank at the wrong time.